Hello folks, Marco here. Today we're back again with another Harley Benton review. This time with the SC Deluxe Goto. Now this is happening only because I wanted to try every different model and every different kind of shape that Harley Benton is offering. Not necessarily because I like these kind of guitars. I have to confess that actually I kind of despise them, but I know this may sound uh, sacrilegious to some of you, but uh, I will give you some more details on that later. What you've listened in the intro was uh, the guitar in a context of a full mix. I try every time to be inspired by the instrument itself and came up with some riffs. And uh, I kept everything as the guitar arrived, even the standard tuning, to challenge even more these new pickups that we're gonna check in detail. And if you're interested, I was using uh, neural DSP plugins and I went straight into my RME Fireface. Disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Harley Benton, who sent me the guitar for free, but I can do and say whatever I want as always. As the title suggests, we have all the hardware from Goto, that would be enough. But going on, we found also stainless steel frets, Tesla and Nico 5 pickups that are new uh, from Harley Benton that used uh, Roswell pickups. Then we have a Graftec Tusknut, which is a big B plus in my opinion. We find also a weight relief Nayato body, which is also very slim, and a mahogany neck. A very nice feature is also this volute that is mandatory for this kind of guitar, if you ask me. And if you care, a seven ply uh, binding, which is very nice to look at. On the paper, this guitar is unbelievable, especially for the price. That is, at the moment, 333 euros. Now, I don't know how they can do it, but this instrument slays anything uh, at this price point compared to the other brands. So let's hear how it sounds. I'm very curious about this new Tesla Alnico 5s and I will test them, of course, through some real amps going through my Torpedo Live. I don't like to evaluate sounds using digital stuff, especially here on YouTube, so I will use my hybrid setup so that we can get a more honest representation, I hope, uh, of how this thing really sounds. <laughs>
For the crunch, I use the JCM 2000 with its own reverb going straight into a 4x12 loaded with greenbacks. With the high gain, I was using a Jet City a JCA 50H something. Uh, that amp is a sleeper. Uh, it's a very, very cheap copy of a Soldano's Law, something like that, designed by Soldano. And I think it deserves a video on itself. Anyway, I was pushing the front end of that amp with this Maxon OD808, very classic combination. Uh, gain at minimum, uh, balance or uh, volume at maximum, and tone at noon, I think. And it sounded great. I think that we can say that this Tesla uh, Alnico 5 are way, way better than the Roswell ones. They don't have those uh, that low end that is confused, very rumbly um, and pleasant. These are more balanced and again, for the price, I think they're very, very good. Now I'm gonna show you a clip of me uh, trying to play this guitar, uh, especially trying to catch this switch because on my old other guitars, it's right here and I kept moving like an idiot, so I cut up the take uh, where I'm not shaming myself too much. I'm gonna make an exception for the clean sound. I used uh, the first amp of Archetype Nolly which is, for what I understand, an emulation of a Bogner Shiva, set to the cleanest uh, of what I can get, and I put on also a bit of compression. <laughs> So we heard crunch, high gain for rhythm, high gain for lead, even a very, very clean judge sound. I would say this is the best sounding Arle Benton I've ever played. This is quite something coming from me because uh, I have played a lot of instruments through the years. Even the first ones that weren't so inspiring, let's say just that. And the uplifting ear is made by these new pickups that were always the weakest point in these very affordable instruments. So if you're not like me and you like this kind of design, go and buy it because this is a very nice guitar. I can't say bad things about the guitar itself. Some other things are simply uh, the feature of this kind of guitar. So if you tolerate them, go and buy it. I don't know why you guys like this kind of guitars, but which is on.